Carmela and this is Sueno and I'm gonna give you guys a little cat tour. They are two boy British short hairs. Canela is six months old and Sueno is five months old. Let's give you guys a little tour. So we got these cats from Crystal Flames Cattery, which is located in Germany. She absolutely loves the cats so, so much. And it took two years actually because she doesn't force them to breed. Um, she, it's a family owned and she, if you look at her page, she absolutely adores and cares about the cats on such a deep level. So I really just felt so comfortable getting these cats from her. I fell in love with the British short hair breed. And yeah, I just like, I really fell in love with this Crystal Flames as well and how she runs the business. It was not easy getting them from Germany um, to here, but we did it. We used an agent here in Thailand and we were able to get them here into Thailand and we drove from Bangkok to Chiang Mai and it was a 10 hour drive, but they did so well. They had like some moments that they were antsy, but overall they they handled it so well. And when we finally got to Chiang Mai, it took them a bit to kind of just like show their personality. I feel like every day they were showing their personality more and more, but in the end, they seem so comfortable now. It's just been so exciting to like slowly see them show more and more of their personality and watch them grow because they're um, six months and five months so they're just like still growing and they're still little kittens. Let's start with their little favorite basket. This is from Sunny Baskets and as you can see they absolutely love it. And in this little area right here is their basket of toys. So he absolutely loves this little basket of his and in this basket here I have just like a bunch of different toys. This is from Pet Kit. I have to say this had like a gazillion positive reviews but they are, they mostly lay in it more than play with it. This is from Vitriska. They absolutely love this cactus from the moment I first got it. They love sitting up here. They scratch on it all the time. And then this is like their little scratch board skateboard. I would say they kind of love it. And then in this basket, which is also from Sunny Baskets as well, we have little travel food bowls, some, another harness, some more toys right here from Sunny Baskets. Their Gim Cat, which is like a multivitamin thing they love. They feel like it's like a little treat. And their nail clippers and things like that in here. Their little corner. See, he loves to climb the tree and scratch it. There we go. So yeah, as you guys can see, they love the tree. So I'm gonna start off with their leashes right here. These are their leashes from Pet Kit. All right, I'm gonna show you guys on Canela here. He, they're actually really good when it comes to their harnesses and leashes. I actually tried the bigger kind that was like padded and it was just like too hot for them. So yeah, this is what it looks like on. As he's grown, I've kind of loosened it. And um, yeah, he's really good about it. So I really like these harnesses. I think that the cats really prefer like the skinnier kind over the really thick kind. They get a little too hot in it and it's adjustable and so far they're they're okay with them as you can see. So I'm gonna take it off. 
And then I thought I'd show you guys, I got this bed from like a random Instagram shop. It's supposed to be for a car, so we'll see when they're like trying it out in a car. This is their stroller. It's from Skiz, Skizopogo. <laughs> it's a Thai brand that I got from the from Lazada, which again is like Thailand's version of Amazon. They love this stroller. So we also got them these backpacks from Pet Kit and they have this like mesh thing. They love these backpacks as well. The best thing about these backpacks is the back expands like this. So when we go to the park or wherever with them, we can have the backpack fully expanded and they love to sit back here. I wish that it did open from the top and then this covers if you want it to be covered um, and it's pretty big. So we have two of these backpacks and then the stroller and then I have this little thing. They love it. It's like just kind of suctions to anything and they love just like playing with this. There we go. Just like I said, they love their backpack. And they they find comfort in their backpack. They jump in their backpack and the stroller all the time on their own. So I think that's something really happy about is that they enjoy their, they find comfort in the backpack and stroller because that was one of the tips I read about when like kind of making your cat into walking and adventuring and all of that. How else do I know? I actually had a cat baby shower yesterday and I had everyone wear those hats and I got all these balloons and I just kind of threw them all the way over here so that they could, uh, so that I could film. And um, Sueno is enjoying the after effects of the party. And I was like, mom, stop. <laughs> so going over here, so we have that little, or I have that little outdoor area and it's, they love to go outside and sit out there and they can't like climb it. So I feel really safe sitting out there with them. This is like the cheapest thing that they absolutely love. They play in this tunnel thing all the time, nonstop, every morning and night. They love it. And then their favorite toy ever are these spring toys. I actually put this like video montage of Canela playing with these toys because he absolutely goes crazy and brings these in his mouth. As you can see, he goes absolutely insane for the spring toy and he usually grabs it, carries it in his mouth. He has, there he is bringing it in his mouth and he'll bring it back or sometimes hide it. And he's brought it to bed. He absolutely loves his spring toy. Want your spring toy? We got this little cat play corner right here. I got this tapestry on it's like Thailand's version of Amazon. And I just kind of typed in cat tapestry and that came up. And I don't know, I just like love this little corner of theirs. I'm also going to eventually put up like cat shelves so that they can climb because they love to like sit on the tree and I want them to be able to like climb all over. And this is their fountain and they love drinking out of this water fountain. They love this way more than if I were to just have still water sitting. This is from Pet Kit as well. The Nano Bowls are from Pet Kit. They just finished eating. So yeah, as you guys can tell, this is like cat land right here. <laughs> and there they are playing, chilling. They love this area so much. Let's go upstairs. 
All right, going into my room right here, I got this for them. This is kind of like a no brand that I got from Lazada, again, like Thailand's Amazon. I call this cat Chella, this little corner. We have this little tent for them. They love playing and jumping in and kind of laying in. I accidentally bought my curtains way too long and it's their favorite thing. They love playing and hiding behind the curtains and they kind of jump all around and yeah, they absolutely love the Catchella area. Going over here, this is like their favorite little corner. I created this corner to be like my cozy little corner, but they absolutely love it. They play underneath the hammock, they run behind the mirror, they play, they run all over this room. It is like their absolute playground. So this has become like their oasis. They are so obsessed with this hammock. They literally run underneath. And as you can see, the rug is kind of like folded up because they're constantly just running all over here and they, they love it. So yeah, this is like my little cozy corner in my bedroom, but also the cat. I also just updated the litter box. I finally got an automatic litter box. This one is from Pet kit and it's pretty advanced it has like an infrared indicator right here it tells you like the weight which i saw yesterday canela is about 10 pounds i think like that's 4.5 kilos and yeah it has like this menu and basically telling me how much cat litter is still in there it cleans it it puts a nice smell and I am so excited. I have been wanting this to make my life easier and it was on sale, so woo! And this is the newest purchase right here. Hey guys. So when I recorded that whole video, it was a couple months ago and now it's been a couple months later and I have to break some bad news. Nico has officially taken his cat because we have been broken up but um, we didn't want to separate them so we kept them together for a while which was probably our mistake because they became very bonded. Uh, I went and visited the States for the first time in like four years. While I was gone, I had Nico take his cat because I knew it had to be done and I knew that if I waited until I was back and I went through that while I was here, it would be so incredibly heart-wrenching for me to witness. Yeah, it's been hard. I'm honestly still grieving and even editing this video has been really hard for me. It's been bringing up a lot of emotion and I hope to one day either, I feel like a divorced parent right now and I hope to one day either be in a place where we can have them see each other or, and I also hope to one day get a, another sibling for Canela. And I've been giving Canela extra love and attention every single day. He does not like being on camera. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been giving him extra love and attention every single day. And it's all I can do in the meantime until I can get him another playmate down the line. I just wanted to update you guys with this. Again, like I said, it's not how ideally I would want things to be, but sometimes life has its own path. And as much as I'm grieving and as sad and hurt I am, I have to accept what is and try to move forward and also trust the process, right? Trust the bigger picture, trust the universe, so. So when I feed Canela, I always give him raw food. Um, I've been feeding them raw food since even when I had both of them, but I feed them BB Barf. I get it here from in Thailand. It's made in Bangkok, I believe, and they freeze ship it over 
it's 100% organic, champion choice meat, like everything is super fresh and um, biologically appropriate raw food. So I switch off between different flavors. Every time I order, I order about two flavors at a time or two, I don't know, flavors or types of meats at a time. So this one is duck, but I also get venison, rabbit. I think they have chicken. They have a couple different ones. So I always try and switch off and rotate all the different meats all the time. So this is the raw food that I give them. Are you hungry? <laughs> and then the raw, the dry food, I get the brand Origin. Uh, I believe it's a U.S. brand, but I have been able to find it here in Thailand. It's really good quality dry food. And again, I switch off with the different flavors and I like to keep them in these like dry bins. This is actually meant for rice, but it has like a scooper in it and I could just scoop it. And then I also have this one. I believe this one is their newest flavor. It's like a mix of fish and chicken, I think. And then this one is, I think, the other fish one that they have. But yeah, like I said, I like to switch off. With even my dry and raw food, I try and switch off different <laughs> flavors. Canela's like, are you feeding me, Mom? He is always hungry. He's such a hungry boy, always can eat. You would think he's always starving. That's how much he loves food, huh? This is really hard to do on camera, but these are his favorite little... <laughs> it's usually not this messy, but I'm trying to have him face the camera. <laughs> oh my God.